Congratulations, we've gone under contract and now the buyer begins their inspection period. The buyer's inspection period is up to 10 days from the date the contract is signed. The first thing we'll need to do is provide the buyer with your seller property disclosures. We often refer to this form by its acronym SPDS or the SPUDS. You may have already filled this out. If you did, we now need to determine if there have been any changes to the property and if there are any items or information you should update. If you haven't completed it yet, then we'll want you to do that quickly so that we can present the disclosures to the buyer. You'll also need to call your insurance agent and ask for an insurance history report or clue report. You'll want a history of any claims for the property to show to the buyer. To be sure your home is ready for the buyer's home inspection, please be sure to do the following. First, be sure all of your utilities are on and they will need to remain on through the close of escrow. It's better if you're not present for the inspector's visit or when the buyers come to review their findings. And keep this in mind, inspections can last two to five hours. So just know you'll want to be out of your home during that time and allow the buyer the freedom to investigate. Remember, it's the buyer's inspection and they're paying for it. So we want to provide them the opportunity to inspect the home and speak freely with their inspector and their agent. To ensure the inspector can verify everything in the home, we need you to do a few things. Remove any padlocks from your electric boxes or gates. If you have any remotes for lights or ceiling fans, please leave them visible along with any necessary instructions. If you use a code to open the garage, we'll need it so that the inspector can make sure it works. The inspector will need to access your attic entries, so be sure the area is clear for them to use a ladder and gain access. It's a good idea to change your air filters now and dust off the grates if needed too. And it's best to remove pets. The inspector will be in and out of the house and we don't want to risk pets getting outside, lost or injured. Keep in mind that while the inspection part of the inspection period is critical, the buyers will also be taking this time to learn about the neighborhood and verifying information such as school districts and crime statistics. The inspection period is a time for them to be sure of anything that is important to them about the home and to make sure everything is just right for them. Once the inspection period is complete and the buyer has completed all of their due diligence, they will submit a form to us stating that they are either A, proceeding with the purchase and no repairs are needed, B, proceeding with the purchase if we repair some items, or C, they're going to be canceling the contract. And once we receive the buyer's inspection notice form, then the inspection period is closed.